How's it going, everybody? It's Brandon with Electrical Specialist. On today's episode of Ask Your Local Electrician, we're going to be talking about a question that came from one of our viewers who was interested in knowing about electrical hum. Uh, so why does my panel make a hum? Is that safe? Is it not safe? What should we know about that? Should we, we can, should we be concerned? Is it normal? Uh, so we're just going to kind of do a quick video on that. Uh, to make sure that whatever we have gets taken care of if it needs it or is it normal. So first, let's talk about what it might be. Uh, it's very common to hear a hum if you walk into an electrical room, especially in a commercial building, but even in your home, which is, of course, what we deal with on a daily basis. If you put your ear up close to it, you can hear a slight hum. Uh, that's typically what people are talking about. Now, if you want to break that down really simply, uh, we just need to talk about AC voltage, AC current. We know DC current. We know AC current in your house. It's AC that's alternating current. Obviously, the power is going back and forth in a cycle. We all have seen a sine wave. It's, it's leaving and coming back to your panel, uh, to the electrical system. So let's just dig into that a little deeper. So it's leaving and coming back. This is actually a spa pack or a hot tub disconnect, but it's the same thing. It's a small panel. So just consider this a small version of what's in your house. A power's coming in, it's coming back. So each cycle is a hertz. So we talk about hertz. What is hertz? Hertz is a rotation. How many times does it rotate a second? So your typical 120 volt circuit is going to rotate about 60 times a second. So about 60 hertz. So as you can imagine, that's going pretty fast, back and forth and back and forth. So these are moving parts in here. So now that we know that we have constant moving fluctuation in AC voltage, you can imagine, you know, that might create somewhat of a hum. Of course, the more power you use, the faster it might go. If you have a larger motor, it might ramp that up, depending on how much power it's drawing. So we know it already has moving electricity You've got your hertz, it's going back and forth. That's typically what creates these electrical hums that most people talk about. Uh, now, let's differentiate when should I be worried? If it's something you have to actually put your ear up to listen and hear, or if it's just a very light hum that you can hear a few feet away, that is absolutely normal. It's nothing to worry about. If it's something you can hear from another room, if this is a moderate to loud humming or buzzing, or if there's any sparking or crackling, that is an immediate problem that needs to be addressed. Uh, typically, it's a loose connection. It's equipment failure, which could be a bad breaker. Maybe the bus bar is not sitting on there right. It's typically some kind of arcing where electrical current is having to jump instead of having a good path. So if it's anything louder than just a very low hum, let's take a look at it. Let's get someone that's, that knows what they're doing to come look at it. Again, any crackling, that is the first sign of some kind of arc that needs to be fixed before there's any kind of burning or fire attached to it. Now, if we're talking about any kind of hum or vibration outside of the panel, if we're talking about a light switch, cracking and popping at a light switch, a plug that has any hum to it, those are all immediate problems. Those are all fire hazards. Let's address those now. If it's the panel, that's the heartbeat of your system. Totally normal to have some noise there, just very light. But again, anywhere else needs fixed now. Anything lighter or anything heavier than a very low hum, it needs looked at. So that's the basis of it. If you guys have any more questions, just let us know. But thank you for liking and thank you for watching.